Today is the day of the eclipse, okay? So whatever day that is, day of the eclipse 2024, that's today. So like y'all saw this morning, I got up, made me a cup of coffee, which I hadn't had coffee actually in quite a minute. I've been drinking um, iced coffee. So I haven't had hot coffee, but I had hot coffee this morning. And I, you see, I drank my um, Cafe de Monde coffee that I got when we were in New Orleans. I think I probably got about, I think I bought the, did I buy, it was either 12 or 24 in the box. I can't remember, but I only got a few left. So I um, think I'll be ordering more, but y'all saw yesterday. Oh, and I'm doing my edge girl, y'all. Bear with me, okay? I am loving these braids. Like this, this size braid is absolutely perfect. Like I feel like with the small knotless, um, like sometimes they look a little raggedy, kind of quick. But I feel like these aren't, you know, like the the squares. They aren't looking bad at all. But I again, I do use this lock in. So yeah, I'm telling y'all, it's pricey. It's twenty six ninety nine. For this um for this jar here but it's worth it um like you know sometimes when the braiders do your hair they'll use their product i cannot use that shining gel that stuff itches my scalp so bad i think it's called shining gel the little stuff that they buy that come in a yellow uh container i think it's called sh shining gel something gel i can't use that it itch so bad it makes my scalp itch so bad so and that flake up and also like the got to be glued some of the edge controls flake up too this don't um i not exactly for sure i mean it has a lot of oils in it so that may be why and it, it doesn't get hard it doesn't flake uh what else it don't do it, it's i like it a lot so if you are interested or have braids or getting braids i would highly recommend um getting that and it's funny me using the edge brush because girl y'all know back in the day now don't act like y'all don't know and act like y'all didn't do it don't act like y'all didn't do it y'all know we used to use old two brushes for our edges say you did you did but yeah i'm using this edge brush and it just don't do it for me <laughs> it don't do it for me like the toothbrush do i don't know why Probably because this one is all full of gook <laughs> and I need a new one. That's probably why. That I'm sure is why. But I'm about to go downstairs and actually I need to con contact Xfinity because come to find out the day that I was telling y'all that they were doing some uh, work or we had an outage. They were actually like upgrading our internet, our Wi-Fi so, or enhancing it so they say. So now I need to update our equipment because I guess it's outdated, I'm, I'm guessing. So I need to do that. And I also, so I don't know if I need to make an appointment. Can they send it? I don't know. And then also you will have seen that I ordered those lights from my front yard and I put those out yesterday. 
Well, when it when darkness fell yesterday, when it got nighttime last night, I went outside, of course, to see if they were positioned right and everything. They look good. They look good. However, I do need to get maybe two more. I know I definitely need one on the far side of my house. And then I did not realize like on the smaller portion of like my landscaping, I had four lights. And then on the larger side, I had three. And if you remember, the box only came with six. So I ordered two more last night and they actually were here this morning when my daughter was getting on the bus, they were on the porch. That was like six something this morning. So I'm gonna go outside and stick those out. And then I have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock that I'm gonna go to. And then after that, um, what do I need to do? I need to go to Target to grab some lotion. I'm just going in getting lotion and coming out. I was going to get it from Publix yesterday because I was there yesterday, but I was like the small bottle of Jergens because that's all I use. I'm not really like I'm not into like the body butters and all that kind of stuff like that because my skin is too sensitive and I just stick to what I know. I, I My daughters love that stuff, especially my youngest daughter. She is like all into all of the body scrubs, body butters, this, that. Not me. <laughs> I mean, I probably would be if I could. But I just don't chance it. So I'm just going to go get me some good old Jergens that I've been using pretty much all my life. My mama used it on me. Back in the day, we used to use Kerry Low. Oh, did I just get this oil off me? Look at this. Just something just told me don't do that. Oh, man. Hopefully that'll like blend in. Anyway, um, yeah, my mama used to use it on me, and I, and by the way, I got on this Zara jogging suit, the one that has like the little, you know, the wide leg pants, which I got pulled up and fold down five times, feel like, because they they still too long, so I have to wear another platform gym shoe <laughs> in order for them to not drag on the ground too bad. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and start off today. That's what we got going on for today. Like I said, I'm about to go out here and um, yeah, I'm about to go out here and put those lights out because it's daylight. So I want them to get as much sun as they can so they can light up tonight and then make the call to Comcast. So look at this. Oh, this just. All right, y'all. I'll pick y'all back up in a minute. Hey y'all, it is a little later in the afternoon. Well, it's about 1230. It's almost time for me to go to my doctor's appointment. But as you can see, I had to change my clothes real quick. I just had ran outside to put the extra two lights that I was telling you in my front yard. And it's warm. And I done took my time and all my jogging, I mean, all <laughs> ironed my jogging suit only to go outside and it's hot outside. Out of all the days, it, you just never know when you step outside what the temperature is going to be. So now I'm out here wrinkled, just had to find something that I didn't have to iron real quick. Well, it really do need to be ironed, but I don't have time. It's 12, like 1225. My doctor's appointment is at one. And then my daughter just moved my car to get her car out the driveway. And the whole side of my car got bird poop on the side. So now I got to run to the... <laughs> Because anybody know, y'all know, if you've been watching this channel long enough, I cannot stand a nasty car. I have literally been like this. My, I can't stand nothing nasty. I don't know if anybody else goes by horoscopes or anything like that, but I'm a Virgo. Virgos are known to be perfectionists, organized, all the things, and I am true to my sign, y'all. I cannot stand everything in my house have a place. Things in my car have a place. I cannot stand a nasty car. I just, no. So before I go to the doctor, I'm actually about to run to the car wash because I cannot take it. Um, I do pay for like a monthly membership with the um, car wash. I think I pay like $23 a month for unlimited washes. So that's why y'all see me going to the car wash or that's the reason why I go to the car wash as much as I do because... I pay for the monthly uh, membership. So I just got on these old jeans. I don't even have a belt and I, I don't even care. Like I'm just going to go to the doctor <laughs> and 
I'm going to shoot to target, shoot right in target, go grab some lotion. And then I'm bringing my butt home tomorrow. I'm not leaving the house. I'm going to clean my house up, kind of get like do a little spring cleaning. I want to take my curtains down in my room. I want to, I'm a mop. I want to, um, what else I wanted to do? Oh, like clean my ceiling fans. Like just kind of do like a little, a little extra cleaning that I normally wouldn't do. And then when I come home today, I'll, I'm going to order my kitchen table and then I'll show you all what it looks like once I get it ordered because they keep saying it go is going out, it goes out of stock. So hopefully fingers crossed that I don't miss it. The only reason that I haven't bit the bullet to go ahead and buy it is because I like it, but I'm not like in love with it. I don't like to buy furniture sight unseen, if that makes sense. Um, let me pull y'all down a little bit. Yeah, I don't like to buy furniture sight unseen. So I don't know. The review, everybody had really, really good reviews on it. So it was like one or two people that got theirs and like it was damaged. Some people talked about like the finishing on it. So I don't know. I don't know, but nonetheless, um, we about to get out this door. I just wanted to, um, just check in with y'all real quick before I left out the door, just in case y'all see my shirt and be like, well, girl, what day was it? It's still today. It's still Monday the ninth, still the day of the eclipse of 2024. Okay. <laughs> having this camera holder in my um, purse but it is later in the day me and my husband are on our way out the door we are about to go to see i think it's king kong versus godzilla i believe it is and we're about to go have a little early dinner because it's only about 4 30 maybe a quarter to five our movie start at 6 20 and i just changed my clothes into this little, they said, I mean, I, it's probably not that chilly outside. However, you know, the movie theater be a little, a little chilly. So I just threw on this like sports jacket. It's fairly thin. So it's good enough for like the movies um, with some black leggings, my black, white and gold Jordan ones. And then my old faithful bag. <laughs> and it has like this drawstring effect. That's why I, I like this little little outfit just something quick and casual to throw on perfect for the movies no must no fuss no iron no nothing and yeah but it's actually really gloomy outside today so this is like the perfect day to go to the movies it was kind of lightening up a little bit earlier but hopefully tomorrow we'll have sun um i did get all of my cleaning done downstairs except for mopping so i'll do that in the morning and then i'm i want to head out of here because i've been in the house for two days so i want to get out tomorrow and see what's going on you know i don't know where i'm going but i do want to get out tomorrow so i just want to come in and check in with you all and say hey let y'all know i'm your girl getting out today okay so I'll take y'all along with us for a hot minute and then um, I'll probably just pick y'all back after, I don't know, but let's just get out the door and we'll see where it takes us, okay? All right, y'all, bye. Oh, they, yes. <laughs> now you can't say that. <laughs> oh, they need to empty their trash. That's not a good look when you coming into a restaurant. Thank you, sir. It's kind of stinky in here a little bit. Thank you.
Hey y'all, we just made it to the movies. Um, I told y'all we was going to see King Kong and Godzilla. I took the shortcut. <laughs> you ain't even hear me. I said I took the shortcut. He not even listening to me, y'all. He be so engulfed on that phone, it don't even make no sense. Hey, you be hot on that phone, hey. <laughs> hey, <boy. laughs> All same seats. This would be the perfect job for Bailey in here doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the side one was nasty. Give me some Twizzlers. Right there. My favorite movie of all time, y'all. Hold on, let me fix my camera. I used to love Beetlejuice. Like, when I tell y'all cannot wait till that come out, I just watched it the other day. I, um, I bought it on... Uh... Oh, this looks like it's gonna be good. Yeah, that's gonna be good. But I just um, ordered it on Amazon. No, I sit right here. Oh, I, I yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you could, you could, oh, yeah. Thank you. Y'all, so I'm waiting on my husband to come out the bathroom, but like I was saying, Beetlejuice was my absolute favorite movie of all time when I was a kid. I used to watch it over and over and over again. And probably like two weeks ago, I um I, I bought it on, I think it was on either Amazon or one of those and watched it. It just, it was so nostalgic. <laughs> but I love Beetlejuice. I could not wait until that movie come out. But I'm just sitting here waiting on my husband. I'm stuffed. We ate at Miller's Ale House. I had, um, I had some wings as an appetizer and a salad we shared and then for my entree I just had a grilled chicken salad and we kind of like nibbled on the fries so we full and then I got some Twizzlers and a water so this is our little evening it's still pretty early because we actually were gonna come to the 720 show but we end up being able to make it to the six what time at 6 30 6 30 show so 6 30. we're early we're early birds we're the main, uh... oh, yeah, yeah. yes we did it's a big one the last movie we came to see or was it oh that was me and the kids when we went, came to see beyonce never been in there. Yeah, we gotta sit. I don't wanna sit that far up then. If it's just me and you, like, we don't have to sit that far up. We got the place to ourselves, y'all. Yeah, we don't wanna sit right here. We can sit like right here in the middle. Until somebody say something. Yeah. Is this too close for you?
hoping nobody saw that. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not about to do that. <laughs> it's a four-hour movie. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Literally, a movie just went off, and we sitting here and waiting for our movie to start. It's just the credit showing for this movie. And we actually literally have the place to ourselves, y'all. It's no, there's nobody else here. Well, y'all can't see beyond that, but there's nobody else in here with us. We got the place to ourselves. I like that. <laughs> Usually we be all the way up. We like to get the last row up and furthest to the, like the exit, not the exit, but like to the end. But because we the only people in here, we can sit wherever we want to this time. The joys of coming to the movies on a Wednesday at six something in the afternoon, huh? All right, y'all, I'm about to eat my Twizzlers and kick it, I guess. I'll pick y'all back up in a little bit. Bye. Literally, y'all, nobody else is in here with us. We got the whole place to ourselves. I told my husband, if, it, if I came in here and I was in here by myself, I would leave because I would be too scared. I would not sit in a dark theater this big by myself. Perfect. It's just us. We're here for the next one. What time is it? 6 30? 6 30? It's 6 32. Did you get the right stuff? Oh, this is 720. Oh, I thought they had a 631 showing. Uh, where are you in seat? Godzilla? Yeah. There's a 630 showing in seat or nine. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, so, man. can we go to nine? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys probably haven't missed much. You probably missed much. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Thank you. We would have been sitting here looking crazy. I was wondering why it was just us in here. <laughs> Thank you. We made it to the other. There's nobody else in here either, y'all. Look. Today is Friday, I believe. Y'all never have the dates together. But I want to say it's like the 13th. Is today Friday the 13th? Hold on. Because I... Is it? No, today is the 12th. <laughs> today is Friday the 12th. I am on my way out the door. It's 1023. I'm on my way out the door. I was up early this morning. I had to drop my husband off. He put his car in the shop. Um, it needed a new battery, but because his car is, I don't know, I guess because it's a luxury car, it has to, like the battery have to be ordered and all of that kind of stuff. So he dropped it off yesterday, but he had a job that he had to do this morning. So I had to drop him off at like six something this morning. So I've been up since 5.30, but I came, I stopped at Dunkin' this morning. Came back home, drank my coffee, got dressed, and now I'm on my way out the door. We are focusing on mostly home for the next couple of months. I am wanting to redo or like give my laundry room like a makeover. So that's where I'm, I'm actually about to go to the Habitat for Humanity Restore. I ordered my kitchen table, but I told y'all it won't be here between, it won't be here until between the 22nd and the 24th of this month. So I'm going to go buy CB2 outlet to maybe see if I can find some chairs or see what type of um, tables that they may have as well. So that's what we're doing today. But I just wanted to come in and check in with you all. I put together this little outfit here because I got stuff that I don't wear and I got to start wearing 
my stuff. And today is actually a little chilly day. This probably will be the last day. I mean, I wear jeans in the summertime. I don't know about anybody else, but I wear jeans in the summertime. So I would definitely wear jeans, but I won't, wouldn't probably wear this shirt. But today is kind of chilly. We've had rain for like the last two or three days. Like yesterday, it rained off and on all day until like the evening the sun tried to come out it rained sun rain it was crazy yesterday and it was extremely windy so this morning it's kind of chilly so that's the reason why i have on a long sleeve shirt i'm not gonna wear a jacket i feel like it's not that chilly and then throughout the day it's gonna warm up because the next few days going forward we're gonna be in like in the 80s like 84 the high 70s so we're gonna get this in today but I don't know. Um, let's start from, I guess, my earrings. So my earrings, <laughs> it's a story behind these earrings. I was at Target and went to go put a buggy back. You know how you go in a parking lot and put the buggy back? And the buggy that was in front of the buggy that I was putting back, these brand new earrings were just sitting there. And I don't know if somebody like rolled out with them and forgot to pay for them or if they paid for them and made a mistake and left them in a buggy. Nonetheless, they were there. They were brand new I snagged them up and these are actually the only pair of silver earrings I have outside of the Bottega dupe like teardrop ones so I mean not teardrop raindrop one tear rain whatever y'all know the Bottega dupes so I got these glasses I will link these I got these glasses from my cousin's website she sells like I don't know if they're blue blocker glasses, but I mean, not blue blocker, blue light glasses, but I know she does sell sunglasses and I, I got these from her. This shirt is very old. Don't even know where I got it from. I got this um, Marc Jacobs bag here that I got from the Marc Jacobs stores when we were in Vegas. I'm, I'm sure I hauled that and then I think I vlogged that as well. These jeans are from Target recently. I don't know if they still have them. I had them about maybe about a, a, over a month. So I'm not for sure if they still even have these. And then I have them on with my Tory Burch loafers. So that is the little OOTD for today. Nothing spectacular, just, yeah. So I'll be taking y'all along with me on that little journey as well. So let's get out this door and enjoy the sunshine and the warm and the I'm, I'm going to say warm because it's not cold outside, but let's just at least get out here and enjoy the sunshine. All right. All right, y'all. Bye. I'm not gonna believe this y'all see that back there let me show y'all this light that i just got from the habitat from humanity restore that was on pottery barn for fifteen hundred dollars y'all see that y'all see the price i got this light for 350 dollars for my four years was not intended. I mean, I've always been wanting a light for my four-year, but I just hadn't really, it just wasn't a top priority. Let me just be frank. It wasn't a priority. Why, why, why are they stranded right here in this new car? But um, yeah, it was not a priority. However, I was going in there to look for cabinets for 
the kitchen like i told y'all i mean not the kitchen for the laundry room like i told y'all i was going to do however i was not leaving that light go this way. i was not leaving that light fifteen hundred dollars and i got it for 350 that saved me i mean like come on now that saved me over twelve hundred dollars I'm at a loss of words. I had to put on some lip gloss. I'm at a loss of words. No damage, no nothing. Still in the box. The light, the bulbs wrapped up. Everything. I knew that I didn't want like a traditional chandelier like look. So I always knew that I wanted something just more clean line. Now, don't get me wrong. I did not want gold. I was thinking I wanted black. I knew I didn't want like silver. I knew I didn't want like crystal. Um, you know, like I didn't want like a typical looking chandelier. Sorry, y'all, shaking like a salt shaker. Um, but for three hundred and fifty dollars, who was leaving it, y'all? <laughs> oh, the excitement! See now, I, this is how I know I'm in my season of fixing up my house because I've already made up my mind. I told y'all this earlier in the vlog, or maybe on the last vlog, that I am not selling my house. I decided we're gonna stay in this house maybe for the next five or seven years it never really was a big rush for us to move but we last year had talked about because you know the equity and the amount of equity that we have in our house we had talked about um selling our house once my youngest daughter graduate high school next year but the way housing prices are house prices are interest rates um taxes things like that it just doesn't it just won't make sense unless i'm getting a custom built house which right now that's not what we're planning on doing that's not what we were going to do but i'm kind of leaning towards that maybe being my forever home because i don't know i love like the space in my house i really i like my neighborhood i'm not in love with my neighborhood but we do have people who sold and the people that are new are moving into the neighborhood are fixing up the houses that the older people didn't do if I didn't tell y'all this before, which I'm sure I've mentioned this, my house was built back in 2006. So it's almost 20 years old, but it has good bones. It has very good square footage. I like where my house sit. I have privacy in my backyard. I'm on a corner lot. Like, I love my house.
So I am back home. Got the light. See the light. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. But I'm gonna show y'all the space where it's going. Um, and I did go to PDI lighting. Well, it's like PDI showroom. They have like you you seen it. I, I showed y'all around. Some of the lights that they had in there were discontinued, so they were selling like the ones off the showroom floor for half off, which was really a good deal. But when you realize how much lights cost, it's like, ooh, ooh. So now that I have the light for the foyer, I'm still looking for a light for my office area, but I've been saying for years when I first even bought this house that I always wanted to make this corporate ceilings in my um, office area because at one point it was my dining room. So I think I'm a whole, well, I know I'm going to hold off on that until I get the corporate ceilings done here in the, um, in the, in the office area. But let me show y'all where this light is going to go. So I have a two-story foyer. So what I want to do is I want to get, I'm going to get that, that light that I just bought today is going to go there. And then while he's up there, I'm going to have him change that vent cover. So I'm going to go and buy another vent cover as well. And then um, that'll just kind of like update this area. I wasn't even sold on gold, but now that I have it home, I'm so glad that I just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought that light, y'all, because I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it for a fact that I did not want like the typical sh tiered chandelier and all that kind of stuff. I always wanted something that was very clean and modern, um, traditional as well, because that's really the style. So let me show y'all the light. So this is the light. And I showed y'all, I showed y'all um, when we were in a store, but this is how it looks put together. And then I have the glass pieces and the top that goes like around on the ceiling part there. So everything is fine, nothing is broken. Um, or anything like that, but I just think it'll tie in good because I would never get rid of this table. I'm actually going to do a video about things that I would never get rid of, whether it's furniture pieces, whether it's clothing items, purses, whatever. Like there's certain things that I just will never do away with and this table being one. Um, but I just think that'll look so good when you kind of look at it and it's like, it's not like a very bright gold. It's more like a brushed, um, I guess like a brassy gold. And that was another reason why I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get it because I'm trying to move away from the golds, but I realize golds are in, but I only like certain color golds, <laughs> if that makes sense. So this is definitely something that I'm going to like. And let me show y'all again, because I'm too excited. But for 300, look at this. They even have it on here. That's what made me look it up. Because I'm like, hold on. Let me see if they lie. <laughs> they might be lying, but they were not. It's definitely on Pottery Barn's website. And to get this $1,500 light plus tax, tax here in Georgia is 7%. For $350 with tax, I paid $371 for this light. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's no imperfections. You all seen it was in the box. All they do is cut the box open, but I didn't want the box because the box was too big to fit in the back of my car. Okay. I don't even quite remember <laughs> what we were talking about. My phone rang, rang. That was my husband. So I forgot what we was talking about y'all, but nonetheless, I'm just really excited about getting that light. I'm about to either run to Lowe's or, um, what is it called? I would go to home center outlet, but if you know, Georgia traffic, mm -mm, not today. So I'm, if I don't find what I'm looking for at Lowe's, then I may go to like a liquidation. Oh, I think that's when we was maybe talking about a liquidation company. So if you're looking for, um, Pretty much anything, like I bought all of my appliances and all of my appliances are all Whirlpool. They were brand new when we bought them six, seven years ago. 
and I got them for a fraction of the price that I would have paid just with my refrigerator alone, what I would have paid for just the refrigerator, I pretty much got all my appliances from a liquidation company. Habitat for Humanity Restore, they're pretty much in every city. If you are renovating a home, I use them more so when I was flipping a property. However, I do peek my head in there from time to time because they have flooring, they have tile, they have lighting, they have furniture, um, you name it, they have it. But it's one of those places where you got to keep going in there to kind of like check all the time if you're looking for something in particular because it's hit or miss. You may find it, you don't. And I will suggest if you find like flooring, if you find tile, buy it all because it's not a guarantee that when you go back, if you run out, if you fall short, if you make mistakes, whatever the case may be, they may not have it. Um, but like I said, like liquidation companies for every single thing you can go. And another good place to find things too is Facebook marketplace, check Facebook marketplace for the same type of thing, liquidation companies, outlet companies, companies they have, um, they may have over an abundance of things, but yeah, just make sure that you buy it all, but don't be don't be so quick to go to a Home Depot. Don't be so quick to go to a Lowe's because believe it or not, if you take your time and you have patience, you will find things for way, way less than you would going to the big box stores. So that's my little tip of the day. I'm excited. I'm just too, too excited about this light. So now I just told my husband that I'm going to go and try to find the cabinets for, and I think I did tell y'all that too, but I'm going to go and find the cabinets for the laundry room. He can cut the wood. Home Depot cuts it too. And then I can stain it. If he put the brackets up, um, I just need it cut. I can stain it. Once it's stained, I can install it. Not a big deal. But yeah, y'all, I'm too excited. <laughs> All right, back. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I am in this um, liquidation wear like a liquidation i'm in the light part they have lights they have cabinets in the next section and then the next section they have like bathroom vanities kitchen van no really just bathroom vanities but this is why i'm telling y'all to google these places in your local area because let me just show you all of the stuff that they have here and you get it for discounted prices you you're getting the same quality at a discounted price so let me show y'all Look at this. Like this right here is actually, I need this. Oh, it's missing the rod. So that won't do me any justice. But I mean, like, look at all this stuff. And it's Hamilton Bay, same stuff you will get if you were at Home Depot, Lowe's, or anywhere else. It's just at a discounted price. Like you just, you have to, um, you just got to know how to bargain shop. It's not necessarily about being cheap. It's about being able to find things. Look, this is a Kishler. And that's actually really nice. Let me see. That's a nice light. Because I'm still on the hunt for a light for my um for my office so it's actually a really nice light i don't want to take the box down but y'all kind of get the idea of what it looks like nice and simple these are like indoor lights this is almost similar to what i have in my bathroom all ceiling fans they have outdoor lighting here and nine times out of ten they have the same thing probably in your local area as well lamps an abundance of ceiling fans <laughs> and all the outdoor lights
I wish I had came here to find outdoor lighting, but I wasn't thinking. I kind of just jumped the gun. Like this is a nice simple light that I need right here because I'm gonna eventually change out my lighting in the hallway. Those were just, a lot of this stuff was done in my house um, during COVID. So that's why I'm kind of like redoing it because a lot of stuff I couldn't get during the time. So we just kind of made do with what we can get. So again, you have to check your local liquidation companies. Like they have an abundance. All of your solar lighting from outside, all of this <laughs> like look at this anybody interested in stream lights like light bulbs Actually, let me look for some black for my half bath. Uh, all right, y'all, but I'll I'll pick y'all back up. But I did just want to show y'all, like, you know, don't be afraid to, you you know, go to your local liquidation. The music is kind of loud now, so I'll call y'all back. Bye. Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 13th. And it's a beautiful Saturday at that. What y'all doing this weekend? What y'all got planned? I think it's supposed to be pretty nice all around the world too. I think maybe next week. A few places I saw like up north was getting snow. But it's a beautiful day here today in Georgia. This is our second day of sun that we've had in a few days. So excited about that. But um, me and my daughter are about to head to the city. I, well, I really want to go hang. I, I don't know. I just It's just like one of those days where you just want to be like in, a, in Atlanta, like the vibe of like city life or something. I don't know how to explain, but that's just how I feel today. So we're going to go to CB2 and then right next to CB2 is anthropology. So I'm just going to walk next door and see what they got and um, go grab us a bite to eat. And I don't no, it's supposed to be like 74. I think it's kind of chilly this morning. So that's why I got on like long sleeves and like, um, you know, closed toe shoes. But it's supposed to warm up this evening. So hopefully it'll do that. But I just wanted to come in and check in and say good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I guess like people may ask, but these glasses, oh, they're dirty, but they're from Amazon. These are... Some Amazon shades with the, I think it's like a brownish, goldish lens. These necklaces, um, I get pretty much, I just kind of pick up random little necklaces wherever I'm at. So I don't have a specific place where these necklaces came from. I do know this cross came from TJ Maxx. I do know that because I picked that up recently. Um, my Moschino purse with the shoes and these are just like if you've been on my channel before you have seen these before because i don't wear these to the ground but these are like my favorite transitional and it's like cold hot this is the perfect kind of shoe like a mule but um yeah that's all they are just a mule and this little set that you would have seen a couple weeks ago i wore it to the farmer's market and it comes from nordstrom rack so that is the ootd and we are about to get out here in these Atlanta streets and see what's going on. Just probably more like, I don't know, house stuff because I'm on that kick, y'all. That that light still sitting, sitting there. I'm so, I, I just keep talking about this light. I'm too excited, too, too excited. But all right, y'all, I just wanted to come in, check in, say good morning. Hey, what y'all doing? All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Hey, y'all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in it? Okay. Oh, she don't care today, y'all. But we just left Sephora. I didn't take y'all in Sephora with us because, of course, it is crowded. And I usually don't go to Sephora on the weekends. I only, ugh, I only usually go during the week. So, but I was trying. I know the sale ends for me. I think I'm a Rouge member, so I got 20% off. So that ends on um, Monday. So that's why I had to hurry up and go there and that, I'll show you all what I got all I got was the things that I actually used nothing major 
and then we just went to Starbucks, got me a caramel frapp. I haven't had a caramel frappuccino in so long. Shout out to um, McDonald's though, because I feel like McDonald's frappuccinos are much better. They, this tastes more like coffee. Theirs do have caffeine, but you know, it's just got a better taste. It kind of remind me of those old caramel reals or something like that back in probably like the late 80s or something like that. I know my granddad's, well, yeah, my great uncle, he used to have them on his table. That's the feeling or the taste that it gives me. And then I got me a cheese danish that I already started eating on. But um, yeah, so now we're on our way to CB2. And then once we leave CB2, I don't know where we're going to go. Oh, I did say I'm going to go to Anthropology, which is right next door. So these people flying around me only going nowhere because the car in front of me is going slow. So I can't go faster than them. Anywho, I just wanted to check in with y'all. It's about an hour, a couple hours or so later. No, not even that long. But yeah, so we're on our way to CB2. I'll pick y'all back up once we get there and show y'all around as well. All right? All right. This is the table I was going to get. Hello. Good. How are you? This is the table I was going to get. For what? The kitchen. And then I changed my mind. That's about the size of this. About the size of the one I'm going to get. I mean, it's fine. But you know what's so funny? They be having the same stuff that Home Goods be having. Because I got that basically on my desk and it's black. And I got it from Home Goods. That's the only thing I hate. Like, y'all be so expensive for no reason. Because. Oh, you mean get it today? Like, get it? Nah. I like that lamp, though. I like this. $2.98. It's not bad. It's not bad. I want to change I like this couch too. See, I want my couch like this in the in the living room. But it's like almost um, like shaped the same though, you know. I just want it because of the color, really. I want my couch to be this color. Twenty five hundred.
This is outside furniture. Kill me crazy. Oh, I own her. That's for a pirate. I'm gonna see when she be going in to get her Yeah, I know she be. Might as well stalk her. But she's, I love her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She do put out good content, so you can't be mad at that. So we are back home. We've left here probably, hmm, I think it was before 12 and it's about six o'clock now. So we'd have been summer everywhere. Me and my youngest daughter was hanging today. We went to CB2, Anthropology, Sephora. We went to eat at Chopped. The salad at Chopped was good. I love a good Chopped salad. We went to, um, and we also went to Westside Market. So I'll show you all what I picked up today, which was really not much. And look at my necklaces. <laughs> Why are they distangled like this? Like this looks crazy. I don't even know. But anyway, so from, um, I guess we'll start off with Sephora. That was the first place we went. <laughs> I didn't get much just read up on the stuff that I already use which is the Peter Thomas Roth is it Peter yeah Peter Thomas Roth sunscreen and it's a moisturizer too and it has SPF 40 in it got that I got my Fenty sweet mouth which is the number 40 but it's the sweet mouth one lip um it's called a gloss bomb, but it's a lip gloss. And then I got another CEO Glow. I usually buy the big one, which I still have quite a bit left, like half the bottle. So I'm just, I said, well, I'll just buy a small one and pour the majority of that one in here. And then whatever's left in here, you know, I just have. But I really didn't need it because like, as you can see, it's like still half full. So that's what I picked up from Sephora. And then in Westside Market, if you're from Atlanta um, or, you know, if you live in Atlanta, you should know about Westside Market. You probably see the billboards on the highway everywhere. But if you're not familiar, Westside Market is, I, I, I guess you can kind of say it's like a thrift store. It's different booths set up by different people who like rent the space out and have their own stuff. A lot of the stuff is like repetitive, meaning like it's jewelry, they have candles, they have clothing, house um, decor, they have hair decor, they have body butt. I mean, like you name it, they have it there. It was a lady setting up hers with just like she does like blinged out, whatever you want blinged out, she does all that. It's a neat little spot to go to. You find all kind of different little treasures and 
unique pieces and things like that. Some of that stuff is a little pricey, but I mean, sometimes you pay for the uniqueness of it. That's how I look at it. But from there, I just picked up these sunglasses here. And this is how they look. I thought they were cute. I don't have anything in my sunglass collection that looked like these. So I thought they were different and cute. Oh, my hair looks a mess, but I'm about to take these braids out either today or tomorrow. They got to come out before Tuesday because I leave to go to New Orleans on Tuesday. But yeah, I thought these were cute. So pick these up. Uh, from West Side Market and they my daughter my daughter got a pair too. There were two for 50. She didn't get this exact same pair But she got a pair of sunglasses and then from anthropology I Picked up these slides here. It's like this terry cloth material. They were regularly seven 70. Yeah, they were regularly $70. I would not have paid $70 for these. Let's just let that be known. That's just some Some lint probably from the inside of the bag but yeah i wouldn't have paid 70 dollars for these but they were on sale for 40 dollars. so i got a pair and i got mine in a size nine and then my daughter got a pair as well same color she got a pair as well so yeah that is really about it um that's all I picked up. <laughs> and I went, oh, and I went to CVS and I just got some hydrocortisone, which y'all know hydrocortisone. Every, since the pollen is out, like the pollen affects the, like my eczema. Well, not necessarily my eczema, but for some reason it affects like my skin on my neck really bad. So sometimes it itches really, really bad and turn red. So during the pollen season, I usually just put it on in the morning as part of like my daily routine because i know that the pollen is going to affect me especially by me being out and about all day and um that's about it so like i said it's almost six o'clock i'm about to actually chill i'm about to change my clothes and pretty much just chill it on out i really got a lot of laundry <laughs> that i need to be folding but i'll do that tomorrow i don't feel like doing that today i'm about to probably start editing Sunday's vlog because this vlog that you're watching would either be probably for Thursday now hopefully it'll be for Thursday but um yeah so that's all I got I hope you all are enjoying your Saturday I hope it's beautiful and warm wherever you are and um I'll see y'all probably later on or tomorrow I don't, I'm not doing anything else today so all right I'll see y'all later bye <laughs> okay y'all so this is what I decided I told y'all we had just got in and I was about to um change my clothes but I absolutely love this robe y'all I think I told y'all on the previous uh vlog that it didn't have pockets which I didn't even realize that it did have pockets at the time until I actually started wearing it and then I also didn't even notice it had these slits on the side either so that was definitely a plus and I f the, the house shoes don't match perfectly however they blend in <laughs> they blend in so I'm pleased I love these house shoes they're so comfortable and I love this little spring robe you know look so this is what your girl is chilling in I'm about to go down here sit on the couch watch me some YouTube but I just thought I'd share with y'all how the robe and the house shoes went because I did mention that I bought the robe to go with these house shoes. And I think I showed y'all too. So yeah, love this robe. If you can get your hands on it, get it. It was only $29. And like I said, it has pockets and it has the slits on both sides. So, all right, I'm about to chill, go lay on this couch and chill it on out for the rest of the evening. So I'll have at y'all for real tomorrow. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a
a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the 